my dear students welcome to teacher at home today class we are going to learn the 7th chapter kerala from 8th to 18th century the period between the 8th and 18th century is considered as the medieval period of kerala many political social economic changes took place during this period given above is an excerpt from the tersepulli copper plate of 18 849 ce and this translation this plate is the vatteluthu script which was prevalent in kerala during the medieval period from the document we get the information about land donation to tersepulli of kollam town by the ruler of vedan venadu ayanadigal tiruvadigal during the 5th regional year of sthanuravi the peruman who controlled all nadus of kerala the most important source of information about the nadus of kerala the water to document nadus emerged during the period of tamilagam about which we have studied earlier the nadus were the places where the people established their agriculture settlement nadus consisted of numerous kudis and urs observe the following table kudi the kudis were the families of occupational groups engaged in agriculture the chief of kudi was kudipati or many kudis constituted the ur the chief of ur is uralar nadu many urs constituted nadu the chief of nadu were naduvali rajashekaran sthanu devi kota devi kot kota kota kerala kesari indu kota baskara devi devi kota adityan kota ramakulashekaran the nadus were under the perumals who ruled kerala with their capital at mahodevara All the 14 nadus from the Kollathu Nadu in the north to the Vayanad in the south accepted the rule of Perumals. It was during the period that a centralized rule came to being to Kerala for the first time. Rulers from Rajashegaran to Ramakulashegaran ruled during 800 to 1122 CE with Mahodayavaram as the capital. Let us examine the characteristics of the rule of the Perumals. Perumals have representatives called Koyladi Kairigal. In the matters of administration the perumals were assessed by Nalutali the council of brahmins perumals had a militia called Ayiram 1000 perumals levied taxes from the nadus nagaras brahmin gramas temples etc surubams by the 13th century ce the centralized rule of the perumals came to an end the nadus became independent the positions of power that developed the nadus were known as naduvali surubams Major Nadu Valley Surubam said they are Kolla Surubam, Kolla Thu Nadu, Nadirupu Surubam, Meera Nadu, Perumbada Surubam, Kochi, and Trapapu Surubam Vey Nadu. Martha Navarma was instrumental in leading Vey Nadu to modernity. It was under him that Travancore became a modern state. Martha Navarma developed Travancore into a strong princely state in the 18th century by bringing out many administrative reforms and strengthening its military. Hyderabad and his son Sippu Sultan were the Mysore Sultan so merged to Kerala the rule of Malabar between 1766 and 1792 the Surubams were the following family ruling families with the right of self rule and they followed matrilineal system of inheritance the Surubams had their own military Alsipadi Nyanam of Venad Patma Lion Lionmar of Kollathu Nadu and Lokkaru Nadirupu Bersa Charmis In order to increase their power, the Nadus used to clash with one another, clash with and used to join forces against the common enemy. A Portuguese and the Jews who raised the Kerala caused by the end of the 15th century used to intervene in such clashes for their trade interest. Until the 18th century, the Nadu Valley Surubams con- continued without much change. By the second half of the 18th century, the Sultan of Mysore, Hyderabad and Tipu Sultan led many military campaigns. which created frenzy among the naduvaris of northern kerala nadirippu kola and smaller sobu surubams quickly came under the mysore sultans fearing the attack from mysore sultans many naduvaris and deshavaris filed to venadu the perumbadu surubam of kochi soon accepted the sovereignty of the mysore sultan only travancore resisted this attacks It was during this period that Kerala was divided into three regions namely Travancore, Kochi and Malabar. By the close of 18th century the East India Company defeated Tipu Sultan. As a result of this the Malabar region which was under Tipu Sultan came completely under the British rule. With this the independent rule of the Naduvaris of Malabar came to an end. Travancore and Kochi continued to the princely slate. Rights on land. 
we have been discussing the political history of Kerala till the 18th century. Now let us examine the ownership of land during this period. There were three broad types of land based on the ownership right during the medieval period. Cherikal, the land under the control of Nadu Aris. Brahmaswam, the land under the control of Brahmins. Devaswam, the land under the control of temples. Anovas of Devasam land were called Uralar, the rulers, Brahmins of the people of the land of the temple did not directly cultivate in this land. They used to give the land for cultivation to middlemen called Karala, according to a power hierarchy, was formed in the Nadwaris at the top, Uralas and Karalas below them. There were further changes in the land ownership right between the 12th and 18th century CE. The rights over the land passed on from one generation to another and became a birthright. This kind of land came to be known as Genmem land and the people who had the ownership right over those lands are Genmis. A custom called Virumbatam became widely prevalent during this period. The Virumbatam land was the land given to the Kudians by the Genmis with the agreement that a predetermined share of the produce would be given to the Genmi. The Panyapatam system, which was also known as Kannam and Uti, became prevalent after the period of the Pirmals. According to this, person who took the land on seas used to give an amount of security to the landlord when he leased the land for cultivation. The Kanakudian did not have the right to sell or transfer this land. He just had the right to cultivate in this land. Kurikanam was a kind of tax rebate that existed during this period. According to this, all the plants which have not yet started yielding were ex exempted when the partum was calculated by the Genmis. It was in the second half of the 18th century that the land was measured. Malaba was under the Mysore Sultans during this period. The system of tax Mysore Sultans had developed was based on the total production from the land of which a share was fixed to be collected as tax. Later, the British conducted a land survey, divided the land in terms of acres and cents and allowed them survey numbers. Similar land surveys were conducted in Kochi and Triangle. In Kochi, it was known as Kitelthu and in Travangur, Kandirthu. Accordingly, tax was fixed on the assessed land. Agriculture and Occupational Groups Read the details given by the old women about the varieties of paddy during the medieval period. Find out the varieties of paddy cultivated in your locality. Farming was done in Wiles, Parambas, Puraidams and Malapradeshangal in those times. Paddy was the main crop in Wiles. They used to cultivate paddy, horse gram, millets and tubers in Parambo. Coconut, arachnid, pepper, ginger, turmeric pulses and tubers were also cultivated. Upland paddy was grown in high fields. Forest produce were also collected from highlands. Farming in those times was dependent on the southwest monsoon, Nerevapadi, and the northeast monsoon, Tula Varsham. Organic manure such as cow dung and leaves was used. It was during this period that communities engaged in various occupations were formed and in turn got categorized into caste. Let's have a look at the different occupational groups during the medieval period. People engaged in agriculture and the making of agriculture equipments. People involved in handicraft and the making of metal equipment. People engaged in trade. People involved in weaving and oil production. People involved in temple rituals. Officials connected to Nadwari Surubams. The descendants of those who were engaged in a particular occupation followed the same occupation. People engaged in same occupation evolved into one caste. The Adiyalas who used to farm during the medieval times occupied the lowest rung in the caste hierarchy whereas the Brahmins were at the top. According to the medieval caste system, the upper caste were considered pure and the lower caste impure. It was believed that touch of sight, even proximity of a person belonging to a lower caste would make the upper caste impure. Based on the family occupation, all other castes came in between these two categories. On the basis of the caste, the concept of purity and impurity sprang up. By the beginning of the 19th century, the population of Malabar, Kochi and Travangu were officially categorized on the basis of caste. Subsequently, caste came to Subsequently, caste came into decided on the basis of birth irrespective of their occupation. Trade relations. Trade continued through the land route as well as the sea route during the medieval period like during the ancient period. 
കൊടുങ്ങല്ലൂർ കൊല്ലം കോഴിക്കോട് പന്തലായനി മാടായി വളപട്ടണം എക്സെട്രാ ഫോർ ദ മേജർ ട്രേഡ് സെന്റേഴ്സ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദിസ് പീരീഡ് അറ്റ് എക്സാം ഇൻ ദ ഡിഫറെന്റ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ട്രേഡ് പ്രിവേൾഡ് ഇൻ ദ മിഡിവൽ പീരീഡ് ചന്ദാസ് ആൻഡ് അങ്കാഡീസ് ഫോർ ദ മേജർ റീജിയണൽ ട്രേഡ് സെന്റേഴ്സ് കമോഡിറ്റീസ് യൂസ് ഡെയിലി സച്ച് ആസ് പാഡി റൈസ് വെജിറ്റബിൾസ് ബീറ്റൽ നട്ട് സോൾട്ട് ഫിഷ് എക്സെട്രാ ഫോർ ദ മേജർ ഐറ്റം എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് ലോങ് ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ട്രേഡ് വാസ് മെയിൻലി വിത്ത് തമിഴ്നാട് കർണാടക ആന്ധ്രാപ്രദേശ് ആൻഡ് ഒറീസ തമിഴ് ബ്രാഹ്മൺസ് ആൻഡ് ചെട്ടീസ് വെർ ദ മെയിൻ ട്രേഡേഴ്സ് റൈസ് ചില്ലി കോട്ടൺ അതർ ക്ലോത്ത് മെറ്റീരിയൽ സിൽക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഹോസസ് വർ ബ്രോഡ് ടു കേരള ബ്ലാക്ക് പേപ്പർ ആൻഡ് അതർ സ്പൈസസ് വർ ടേക്കൺ ഫ്രം ഹിയർ ദ അറബ്സ് ചൈനീസ് യൂറോപ്യൻസ് എക്സെട്രാ വെർ ദ മെയിൻ ഫോറിൻ ട്രേഡേഴ്സ് ബ്ലാക്ക് പേപ്പർ ജിഞ്ചർ കാർഡമൺ സിനിമൺ അതർ സ്പൈസസ് കോക്കനൈറ്റ് എക്സെട്രാ വർ ടേക്കൺ ഫ്രം ഹിയർ ഗോൾഡ് കോപ്പർ സിൽവർ ചൈന ക്ലേ പോട്ടറി സിൽക്ക് എക്സെട്രാ വർ ബ്രോഡ് ടു കേരള ദിസ് വേഴ്സസ് ആർ ഫ്രം ദ എയ്റ്റീൻ സെഞ്ചുറി പയ്യന്നൂർ പാട്ട് ടേറ്റേഴ്സ് മെൻഷൻ ഇൻ ദിസ് വേഴ്സസ് ഫോർ ട്രേഡേഴ്സ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് മീഡ് ബൈ അഞ്ചുവണ്ണം ആൻഡ് മണിഗ്രാമം അഞ്ചുവണ്ണം ആൻഡ് മണിഗ്രാമം ആർ ദ ട്രേഡ് ഗിൽസ് എക്സിസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ മിഡിവിൽ കേരള ടിൽ ദ ഫോർട്ടീൻ സെഞ്ചുറി ദ വർ ആക്റ്റീവ് ഇൻ ബോത്ത് സി ആൻഡ് ലാൻഡ് ട്രേഡ് അണ്ടിൽ ദ റൈബിയൽ ഓഫ് ദ പോർച്ചുഗീസ് ബൈ ദ എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ സെഞ്ചുറി ദ അറബ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ ചൈനീസ് വോർ ദ മെയിൻ ട്രേഡേഴ്സ് വിത്ത് ദ അറൈവൽ ഓഫ് ദ യൂറോപ്യൻസ് ആൻഡ് അറബ് ചൈനീസ് ട്രേഡ് വിത്ത് കേരള ഗോഡ് ഡിസ്റ്റപ്റ്റഡ് ദ യൂറോപ്യൻസ് മോണോ പ്ലൈസ് ടു ദ സി ട്രേഡ് ദ ഗെയിൻ ദ അപ്പർ ഹാൻഡ് ഇൻ സി ട്രേഡ് കോൺസിക്വൻ്റ്ലി ദ യൂറോപ്യൻ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് കൺട്രോളിംഗ് ദ റിച്ച് സോഴ്സസ് ഓഫ് കേരള തുഹഫത്തുൽ മുജാഹിദ് റിട്ടൺ ബിഷേഖ് സൈനുദ്ദീൻ മഖ്ദൂൺ ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ദ പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ സോഷ്യൽ എക്കണോമിക് ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഓഫ് മിഡിവിൽ കേരള ദ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ സെഞ്ചുറി വർക്ക് വാസ് റിട്ടൺ ഇൻ അറബിക് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ദ ബുക്ക് ഡിസ്കസസ് ദ കോളനൈസേഷൻ ബൈ ദ പോർച്ചുഗീസ് ആട്രോസിറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് ദ റെസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് ടു സച്ച് ആക്ഷൻസ് സ്കോളേഴ്സ് കൺസിഡർ ഇറ്റ് ആസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ ഡോക്യുമെൻറ്റ് റിട്ടൺ ഇൻ കേരള ദിസ് വേഴ്സസ് ഫ്രം ദ മൂഷകവംശകാവ്യം എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഓൾ ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഹു വാ വാഷിപ്പ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഗോഡസസ് കോ എക്സിസ്റ്റഡ് പീസ്ഫുള്ളി ഇൻ ദ മിഡിവിൽ കേരള ലൈക്ക് ഇൻ താൻ ആശ്രമം പ്രിമൈസസ് വെർ ദ വൈൽഡ് ആനിമൽസ് ഫോർ ഗോഡ് ദേ ആർ വാൽബ്രി ആൻഡ് പീസ് പീസ്ഫുള്ളി അലോങ് വിത്ത് എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ഗുഡ്സ് ഇൻ ട്രേഡ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് കൾച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓൾസോ ഗോട്ട് എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് ദ ട്രേഡ് റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് പ്ലേഡ് എ ക്രൂഷ്യൽ റോൾ ഇൻ ഡെവലപ്പിംഗ് കൾച്ചറൽ ഇൻറ്റഗ്രേഷൻ ഇൻ കേരള ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദ മിഡിവിൽ പീരീഡ് ദ കേരള ബിക്കേം എ ലാൻഡ് for people of different religions started living in peace and harmony the brahmins jains buddhist jews christians and muslims spread during this period the rulers of kerala viewed all religions equally as mentioned earlier the nadwari used to donate land to the brahmins and temples nadwari is also used to grant grant the jains buddhist the jews christians and the muslims and different kinds of rites right given to the uh, buddhist mandir at srimulavasam by the i king vikramaditya varagunan of south travancore in the 9th century gifts granted to the jain mandirs in tarekavu kinalu ralathur tirumannur and chitrakal during the 9th 10th and 11th centuries rights granted to the christian trader masapuri so belonging to the manigramam trade associated by the venadu naduvari ayanadigal in the 9th century ce in trade of kollam town and to construct the arsapalli right granted to the jewish trader joseph from ban anjuvarnam uh, trade association by sri ravi of the permal dynasty in the 10th century to do the business in kodungallur town land at uh, kundamangalatha and pullikal gifted to the muchuti mosque by the samrin nadiyurippu swarupam in the 13th century ce read the description given by albarini who visited kerala during the 10th and 11th century and the description given by abul rasa who visited kerala in the 15th century ce in malibar mingle with the people ramanan and believe practices and have a different religious rite and any of them albaruni muslims have constructed big mosques with the consent of the samarin of kolikot here asan and payas were offered regularly the oases of the mosque are pointed as the samarin societal controls there were rules and norms control the social relationship during the medieval period during the perumal period there was a custom called Murikulam Kacham. It was mainly applicable to the Brahmins and the temple communities. During the Perumal period, traditional customs mainly controlled the society. After this period, Kachams, Kachams disappeared and another set of customs are more known as Gir Mariyada gained prominence. There were different Mariyadas. Desha Mariyada, Tolul Mariyada, Swarupa Mariyada, Shrudra Mariyada, Jadi Mariyada, which was followed by the occupational groups. Generally, these societal rules were not violated. If they did, it led to conflicts. 
previously mentioned land ownership rights and relationship as well as the caste relation religious relationship were all based on these rules of society the next centers were, were the vedas were taught in the medieval kerala are known as salas kandalu shala was very prominent among them it was established during the reign of i king karundav karundanagan besides the vedas language grammar logic physiology philosophy law sciences and marital arts were taught at the salas some of the other important centers were parthivapuram sala thiruvalla sala and mulikulam sala during the time of naduvari truth sets like poison test water test fire test weight test etc were conducted in order to punish those who were guilty weight test was applicable for brahmins and other upper caste all other tests were applicable to the avarna caste during the medieval period justice was not rendered equally to all there were differences in the punishments given to savarnas and avarnas the above mentioned customs continued to be practiced in the society till the british rule from the 19th century onwards unified law came into force manipravalam was a literary style used in medieval liturgical text in south india which used an admixture of sanskrit and malayalam many sandesha kavyams and chambus combination of prose and poetry were written in manipravalam i already discussed in the previous classes the language literature and science of medieval kerala kerala was a part of tamilagam in ancient times Malayalam language during this period had the influence of Tamil and Sanskrit. We can see examples of this kind of this kind of Malayalam from the 9th century in the plates inscribed in Vattaru Nottaru script and indicated earlier Tiruchappalli and Tirunelli edicts are example for this. This kind of script can be seen in the documents till the 12th century CE. Influence of Malayalam is more evident in the works after this period. Ramacharitam written in the 12th century is considered as an early Malayalam book. By the 14th century books were written in Manipravalam some of the famous books in Manipravalam during this period were Unnili Sandesham Niyachi Charitam Chandrol Savam Vaishika Tandram Anandapura Varnanam by the 15th century the writing of the style of literature came to an end Ramayanam Bhagavatam Shivaratri Mahatmyam etc written by Rama Panikya Kannashan who belonged to the Niranam poets were important in the growth of the Malayalam language in the 15th century and the important work of the time is Tirushiri's Krishna Gada Here is a Vadakan particle songs praising the mighty of this Tacholi part ex- extolling the varied Tacholi of the nen and uh, Puthuram part praising Aromal Chegavar are very fo- popular Tekan particle the ballads of the south kerala powers history marriage deities praises of the brave and the valiant examples are irangutti pilapor paattu totam paattugal the songs related to rituals and practices such as theyam and thira harvest songs songs chanted in the group by those working in fields or farms ballad songs formed in related to leading a battle we have discussed the bhakti movement during the medieval period in india bhakti literature was present in kerala the 17th century Nyanapana and Sri Krishna Ramacharitam written by Poondana Nambudri Aditya Adhyata Mara Maya Nam Kilipattu and Mahabharata Kilipattu written by Adhyata Ramayana Kilipattu and Mahabharata Kilipattu written by Tunjata Ramayana Ertachan belong to the center of bhakti literature 18th century tulal songs by Kunjan Nambiar and Kujela Prathama Anjipattu by Ramaburathu Varya made a major contribution to the growth of Malayalam language. Vadakan Pattu and Tekan Pattu also spread orally during the period. Language and dialects of the people who migrated to Kerala contributed to growth of the language. Tamil influenced Malayalam in the southern Kerala. Influence of Kannada is evident in Ke- uh, Malayalam in northern Kerala. Malayalam was also influenced by the language of the people who had come through the sea route for trade. influence of the arab led to the development of arab malayalam mohidin mala written in the 17th century by qasim muhammad is an example of arab malayalam literature the christian missionaries who came to kerala also developed literature in malayalam let's look at the literary works of the missionaries samshaped the vedartham putan pana by arnos padiri vartamana pustakam by paramekal thomas kattanar it was during the medieval period that distinct art forms of kerala developed some of these are given below during the medieval period there were progress in the fields of ayurveda mathematics astrology and architecture 
In-depth experiments were conducted in the field of mathematics and architecture. Shankaranarayan Sangha Sam uh, Sangama Grama Madhavan, Vadacheri Parameshwara and Nilaganda Somayaji were the prominent mathematicians of this period. It was during the medieval period that growth in literature and poetry in Malayalam language, distant art forms, important socio-economic institution, growth in scientific field, etc. happened. In brief, the salient features of Kerala culture developed during this period. Kerala from 8th to 18th century. Perumal period, Suruba period, that is Perumal period, uh, Kudi, Ur, Nado, Suruba period, Koleshuram, Nadirupa Surubam, Perumbadapa Surubam, Tripapur Surubam, Land Ownership, Charakkel, Brahmaswam, Devaswam, Agriculture and Occupational Group, Caste, Trade, Local Trade, Distant Trade, Foreign Trade, Anju Annam, Manigrama, Cultural Symbiosis, Brahmin, Jain, Buddhist, Jews, Christian, Muslims, Social Restrictions, Moors and Test, Language, Literature, Malayalam, Manipravalam, Poonda, Anam, Elitachan, Kunjan, Ambiya, Songs and Art Forms. That's all about this chapter. If you are interested, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you.